early game, if they're able to at least bide their time to the mid game, I think they've got a chance at this game. But on the other side, if Poppies get to go longer than 20 minutes, definite W for them. I mean, it's hard to vote against a Kali Thoth in the late game, right? Hachiman, not too bad either, especially in World War Cupid's already been taken away. But you got the Rom, the Ama on the side here. Picarinum's Kepri only gets better as that game starts to go later. So this is potentially a scary one here for both of these two teams. Got to make sure they're executing. Maybe going to be slow throughout the start of this one as well, because not a lot of early game junk. Thanks, Finch. And exactly as you said, should look to be an absolutely action-packed game today. I'm Blazy Bud, as you can see over there. Get a nice the double stun, but not quite enough damage to mark Ooh. the kill just yet. But making me eat my words, Chikio coming up with a Chikio steal. We're out of a tricky yeah. situation. Rapio is going to escape with his life just barely. And that's going to be really, really good. Although apparently not satisfied with that outcome. Looks like Draco Mourinho is looking to send Rapio to a watery grave, but thanks to some support from the rest of his team, he should be out just fine. Now it's Marcus here who might be out on a bit of a limb, but thanks to the rest of the puppies being here in this left side jungle, I don't think they're going to have too much trouble as Davy now the one in trouble, all on his lonesome against three. No ultimate available for Kepri, and Davy's going to be the first to fall here in this the engagement. The power that he's getting from Butcher's Blade should allow him to find some pretty good fight opportunities in the early. They can't get out rotated their own red, though. No, and well, that's exactly what's going to happen here. Zulk is going to be the first one to fall down, but Rapio trying to make something happen alongside his ADC. Nice the minions from Rapio going to help pick up Chikyo with some help from the Astral Barrage. Now, Rapio's in an interesting spot where he wants to invade, but he's been surrounded by the enemy team. He's going to get caught out by a couple of Guardians. Should be all right for him, but Warchi losing out on his ultimate as well. Picarino are doing a good job keeping pressure on the map. For sure, and it looked like he was trying to uh, to chase after the enemy ADC there, but thanks to a nice Scarab's blessing, gonna be able to just get out fine, although the same cannot be said for the one who bestowed it to him. Hey, okay, I'm going good. to choose one person, and they will die, and then I'll move on to the rest of the team. Who are we looking at Marcus to just try and kill every single time, as Davy is definitely gonna be the first person to die under his, uh, under his tier 1 tower in just a second. Here. Oh. And Captain Odie picks oh. up a kill on the other side of the map. Warchi does pick up Davy, as you called out. If I'm Marcus, anyone standing in front of me is fair game. If I've got destruction <laughs> available to me, preferably I'm taking out the Hera. Picarino needs to go down. He's going to be the mainstay of damage, but it seems like they got that under control. Yeah, it definitely does not look like Picarino is going to have any trouble falling down. As Look at that damage there from the final judgment. Thank you once again to a nice Garrus blessing from Alka to save the life of his mid laner. These Scarab's Blessings have really been a highlight of this team so far. But over here on the right hand side, looks like Marcus is putting the enemy team in a blender. Picarinoobs, they already lose one and I'm not really sure Captain Oda can get away here. Kali's angry, she's looking for some more food on her plate. Dashes should be down for both of them at the moment. I'm not really sure if Marcus can get in, but the blink is going to be good. Here comes the damage, saves the jump, but the dash nice is going to be good from Captain OT. And the Duke away to the, uh, to the other side of that wall should find him safe with that speed buff. I mean, that's exactly what I was talking about, though. Anyone standing in front of Marcus is going to be fair game. He's got the hasten. <laughs> he's moving into the kin size. He's already got the crusher. He's hitting his power spikes incredibly quickly and has a level lead on a Bakasura. He can do whatever he wants. Yeah, well, yeah, it's exactly as you said. I don't really have anything to add to that point, as over here in the left lane, Poppy's definitely looking like they want to add to their list of kills. Jacob Marino doing exactly that, putting another notch onto his belt alongside his ADC, but Alka answering back with the tick damage from the big solar ball of death. Be able to disrupt the back line. If Picarino gets in, he might be able to look for a steal attempt, but it seems like it's a solid wall of defense right now. Well, potentially, but you can't discount the snipes from I Davy. Probably the best seal tool that they have at the moment, but he does reach up to the sky already. But it is in service of picking up Chikyo, who's gonna be the first person to fall thanks to Rapio playing that role perfectly, doing exactly what we needed him to do. And now being all out on a limb all by himself, Creed is gonna fall down as well. And now with two members down, I think Picarino could be in a decent position to look at the Fire Giant themselves here. And we've still got Argus available. Alka still has the Scarab's Blessing. It's not going to be easy for the Poppies to put up a defense, but a lot of their offensive tools on Picarinoobs are down. 
Ooh, three beautiful crits from Warchi. Gonna force Davy into a bit of an uncomfortable position, but steps a little too far forward, gets caught up by OT. The silence is gonna prevent him from dashing away. And with some help from the jungler, he's gonna put another nail in his coffin. Still surging forward. Up a little Draco bit of ward really coverage as well. This is a much better team fight for them. For sure, and that's exactly what they're gonna do, though they're not looking for the Fire Giant in this situation. They're looking for Draco Mourinho. He stepped a little bit too far forward and got melted by all five members of the Poppies, and it looks like they're fairly happy with just picking up that kill for now. Now Alka, looking aggressive, does find the pull onto Creed, but thanks to a nice assist from his friend, he is gonna get the Tail Whip and dash out away. Pikarinu moves once again in a 4v5. Yeah, Pikarinu is doing a fantastic job picking up that pick on a Draco Marino. Now they're looking for a little bit more in mid. Chekio taking a lot of damage is going to fall to Davy. That's two members down. And it could look to be a third or even, well, an artificial team member to say the least. Tier 1 tower is going to be made short work of here. It's going to fall down. And yeah, it almost looks like it's a, it's a bit of a matter of lack of peel as both of these front lines are looking to go aggressively onto Picarinobes rather than staying with that back line, but it might it might work out for them this time as Captain Oti taking a big chunk of damage from that final judgment, but it's gonna turn around. Big two-man stun from the Dazzling Offensive. Titanfall's gonna come down. Rapio's gonna be the first person to fall, but Hellfire's are low all over the place. Warchi gonna get one for himself. Picarino, though, answering back, does manage to find the Thoth, but now the Hellfire's definitely favoring Huge. Poppies, especially with that reset from Marcus, picking up his target in Alka. Draco Mourinho on the side picks up the ADC. Davy falls. And now it's all down to Pico Mourinho, who's going to get blinked on by Marcus, but no Argus available for him. And look at him go. Marcus is a human blender, and down falls the last member of Pico Renoob's Deicide. That's going to be a tier 2 tower, maybe even a Phoenix, and maybe even a Cape. 20 seconds left on the nearest respawn being Alka. 20 seconds left on Rapio as well. I don't think they will look for the end here. It would be a little bit risky for them, especially considering how slowly this Phoenix is burning. But with Bakasura and not spawning with ultimate, they them into a fight where they're in the advantage and the Poppies are looking much better. Well, potentially, but Picarinooms apparently didn't get the memo as they're looking for this, but the steal from Poppies is gonna be good. I'm not really sure what the plan was there. Chikyo's gonna steal it away, but Rapio looking to find something in return, but I mean, I this is looking pretty devastating as a third member falls from Picarinooms, and Davy's just barely struggling to get away from the big crocodile man. Yeah, that's looking like a GG to me. Picarino and David, the only ones available. Davey no longer has beads. A little bit trigger happy with it. Fire minions flooding down mid. Picarino still out of position behind the entirety of the enemy team. This Titan should fall fast. Yeah, absolutely. Destruction, no savior play coming up from Picarino. Argus already falling. Titan's already on 10% HP. It's already dead. And only 25 minutes into this. Really do a whole lot else. There's so many ways to interrupt the fire coming out. The breath. Uh, I mean, at least the leap is nice. He is going to get some healing, of course, from the Bakasara eat minion and Sobek and all that. But at the end of the day, I might have favored something like a Ganesh. But when it comes down to it, and I got to pick a draft, I have to go with Poppy's man. The way that they played that last game and just the utter power they're bringing to this one, it's nuts. I, uh, I gotta be honest, I gotta agree with Lermy and Finch here, Mifflin. Looking at the comps here, I'm seeing a Cerberus support. Now, uh, sorry, no, this is a Cerberus solo a and, and out on the best confirmation that you have. It being a Bakasura that received the majority of that poke. Eat minion plus Assassin's Blessing. That's a ton oh. of sustain, but a little cheeky blue buff invade. Here comes the cavalry. Well, it looks like they're not going to quite be in time. It's a quick jump and a blink from Rapio is going to get him out safe. I'm not 100% sure if Puppies were able to secure that blue buff. Looks like OT might have picked it up, but now picking up two people with his ultimate. It looks like Chikyo could be in trouble. He's going to fall down straight away there. That is going to be the mark from Rapio as well. Not able to confirm the second marked kill. But Picarino is going to pick up Creed, so that's going to be a nice little double kill from Picarino. But once with, again, not I guess, Creed off the map being the best secure with the uh, the under the waters. Davey taking a little bit of a oh. 1v1 in the jungle. Warchi gonna be forced into using that ultimate. Up into the skies he goes. One shot's all it's gonna take. And now we're in a position where I think you can start to look for an objective. Scarab's Blessing getting forced off as well. Oh. There's the execute. Love to see it, Alka. Gold Fury got should him. absolutely be on the menu. For sure, and look at this. Three members from Pika Renoobs looking to get that uh, spacing. Whilst it looks Rage like building early on, obviously going to be a mainstay in the majority of crit-based builds just because you want to get those stacks available, but Alka might not let us talk about it. 
No, absolutely not. Well, at least it's going to be a short conversation. He's going to fall down. Final judgment comes out from Picorino to try and save his life, but... I mean, for sure there, Chekio's just pressing forward because he wants to pad the damage stat, but fortunately for him, he gets some valuable information as well. And that information might just about lead to the death of Captain OT. Three people knocked up there, but without really a place to go, and all oh, teammates are on the way, so if he can hold out just for a little bit longer, no ultimate available for Marcus, but... Four members of Puppies are here, and they're not going to let Captain Oti get away again. Meanwhile, though, in the left-hand side, feeds up popped by Davey, but he's looking to find a kill on to the mid laner here. Chekio might nice. fall down, buys the third snap in the stealth. Davey now forced under tower and is in the lurking in the waters. Could be in some trouble here, but does manage to avoid out the damage. Thanks to that lifesteal, he might be fine, but a pluck into the archers is going to find the life of now. Not once to leave, only one fight going at any given time. Continuing the fight, Pika Renoobs leave too low under tower. In goes Ulka, but it's going to be a mess from the ult there. Gives Marcus enough space to leap out with a blink. And now it's Warchi all by his lonesome, does find the airstrike away. And that should be the wash of the fight. 500, not the biggest amount at 18 minutes in, but the XP definitely favoring the blue team. For sure, but let me ask you conversely to that, what kind of things are the poppies looking to do? Actually, hold that thought, is in the mid lane, there's an engagement going on. Captain Oti once again finding a nice big ultimate there. Ulka isn't going to be around to reap the benefits, though, as he's going to fall down, and that's the flag for Pika Renoobs to fall back, but... What I was about to ask you before, I was so not rudely really too much from Marcus, but the delay in the timing it takes him is going to allow Marcus to get his jump back Woo! up. So, cast is cast from me, I suppose, but here in the left-hand side, let's see if Cerberus can get some more comida for everyone, as it's going to be one person knocked up, Creed is the only one plucked, but Ulka going to start off the party getting a kill onto Warchi, up into the sky goes Noir, though. Chekyo saves his life just about. Rapio tries to escape, but he's not going anywhere. Plucked in from Creed. Now coming back around is Marcus blinking in. He's going to find one. Picarino falls down. Now Davey's coming into the fight. Those auto attacks are going to hit hard. Marcus isn't going to stay alive long enough to reap the rewards. And now it's going to be Creed. Last man left standing alongside his Kepri friend. He's able to get out by the looks of things, thanks in part to his mantle of discord. Draco Marino, though, tells a different story. He's going to fall now. Creed left under tower. The auto attacks from Davey are going to hit hard. He's going to fall down as well. Chekio's the only one left alive now. Just about respawned. He's going to find one to trade, but Pika Renoobs have already run all the way back to the bank. With Davey and Alka still remaining alive, Gold Freak should be an option here, but Davey's or Alka, rather, is so low health if Chekio gets the jump on him, he could very easily lose his life, but one stun's Ooh. all it takes. Davy should be able to pick this up. Yeah, very nice, simple, quick clean there. And Davy once again, finding this engage. It doesn't look like Poppies are interested in having just a full that. Fight. Carry. For sure, and Rapio looking to maybe find Ooh. a target here, but Picarino finds Warchi and the Gold Fury in one fell swoop. He's deemed them both to be unworthy. Draco Mourinho now getting caught back out by that ultimate from Oti, who's been having some great ults. Marcus, on the other hand, finding his counterpart, saying, I can play Kali better than you, my friend. He's going to take down that ba uh, Bakasura. And now Captain Oti claims his first kill as well in this game, taking down Draco Mourinho finally after picking up that pluck. And now it looks like Pika uh, Hoops are going straight for this fire giant. As they should. Only two members alive on the side of the Poppies. Ultimate's available for both, so Creed could try and move in and buy some time, but it's not really worth it. Chekio on the opposite side of the map. This Sobek being level 19 is a very high level, but not necessarily as tanky as you would like to be able to disrupt this. So now Fire Giant should go the way... For sure, and you know, it's going to be invaluable if you can get a pretty decent ultimate off to try and stop some of these carries from rolling away, but the engage from Captain Oti is going to be good. Once again, two players plucked straight into the center of his engagement field. Under the water once again goes Creed to really break up this fight. Final Judgment comes through, not really doing too much though. Doesn't find the damage that it needed to, and Marcus is going to start off the party with a kill. Up into the sky goes Noir, down falls Alka because of it. Now Captain Oti is getting caught out. It's going to be probably kill number three, but Creed actually plucks him away. Captain Oti might find his way out here, but no, Wachi. Not gonna quite let that happen. We can make a similar play here as Fire Giant has already fallen down to about half HP. Up into the sky goes Rama oh. to take down Marcus already. He's already out of the fight. No Bakasura and no jungler available for the Poppies to start off this engagement. Now it's gonna be Oti once again finding that pluck on to the support. Draco Mourinho, he's gonna get taken to the sky. Two more players from the Poppies fall down. And now all by his lonesome, Draco Mourinho's gonna fall alongside 
his mid laner. That's going to be Deicide for Picarinoobs. And Mifflin, I think we just saw game number two go the way of Picarinoobs. Yeah, it looks like a game three situation. What a clean team fight there. Rapio immediately sparts out or spots out Marcus around that right side mid camp. Puts the damage in. Davy resets Fire Giant for the ultimate. Finishes up that kill. And from there, it's just a clean spearhead attack from Picarinoobs. While the Poppies have to run with their tails tucked firmly between their legs. There was at no point a chance to turn around the that engagement. People watching know that about me, but I just don't know that this is the best matchup for them. Yeah, that's the big concern, right, is I love the thought process coming out of Picari Noobs. It's all going to be about the execution, and last game we saw him do it, so if they're able to bring it into game number three, I'm going for the underdogs. Mifflin, I'm looking at these comps, and I'm wondering if this is if these are the same two teams that we saw the last two games, because this is almost unrecognizable, picks and bands-wise. Yeah, it's a, it's a brand those new last look. two games misses the final shot there. On a target who he really should have connected on. Now it's Marcus looking to find something, but the double blink, the, sorry, the counter blink there from Rapio gonna find him safe. Chatching in is Alka, but not quite able to find the plug, so Wachi's gonna be just fine. Forced to go under the water is the Crocodile Man. Final judgment off the mark as well there from Cheeky over the bombs. Are gonna be pretty good. The dash through from Picarino getting aggressive into three people. Not a good idea, Picarino. Marcus gonna pick up first blood, and now Davy. Under some duress, does have the feed still, so could potentially find his way out, but further step over, Marcus is going to secure number two on the board for Poppies. Man, right after I get it done gassing all that up. much, but with the Poppies, even the smallest little lead could lead to, well, the end of the game, and looks like Rapio looking to maybe counteract some of that as Warchi's going to get aggressed onto here. Fields of Love is going to force... I Davy up into the ultimate, down he comes, and now, thanks to Volcanic Lightning, Davy's going to be able to escape with his life. Unfortunately, Warchi can't say the same, the Nene Kappa nearly being able to finish off the life of the ADC, but now it's the rest of the team walking in. Alka tries to come in for some support, but forced under the water just as quickly. Does manage to come out and get back out with the Divine Judgment. Because we're starting to get to that point where Gold Fury is going to be under threat, especially considering with the Poppies' draft, they have so much burn Ooh. potential. And now a pick as well. Rest in peace, Davey. Yeah, Davey's feeling the burn potential. He's just gonna... Well, he melted M Mifflin. He was there one second and was not the next. Yeah, it's not exactly Again, the position you around. He might not do, but I think if he is, it's going to be really, really impactful for Warty to try and pick that up. And speaking of impact, Rapio's gonna get one straight to the head and he's gonna take yeah, a big yeah, spill there. Yeah. In the mid lane, just on the left-hand side of that jungle, Alka trying to walk through here. Marcus doesn't have anything available, though. No ultimate, but thanks to the pluck, he is going to find Picarino. Alka, and he's just going to get pressured out through the sky. Davey trying to find some arrows, but very nice leash there from the puppies. Just to back off for a half second, not let it regen too much, but also not letting Davey get any of that damage through. Really, really well played for that from puppies. And Creed gets the rotation in first. Sobek, what are you doing, man? The, the gold's dead already. Alka trades out his life for nothing, and the team fight continues. Yeah, it takes a step too far forward there, and Gravity Surge is going to pluck him straight back in. Now the rest of them surging forward. Captain OT is going to be the next one to fall. Watchy falls down. Now let's follow along with Big World Cat, as he's going to look once again for this mid laner. My Creed just not letting anyone have any space to breathe, and neither is Marcus, as he's going to pick up Rapio all the way at the back camps. Now it's probably going to be a tier 2 tower as well. Marcus still, as I said, not letting anyone breathe. He's looking for the speed buff. Yeah, from bad to worse off of one misplay from Alka, just going for an aggressive play when he really doesn't have any right to. You're not fighting over anything, and he's continually doing it. He's going to lose his life again. Alka, what are you doing? This is not the positioning that you want to have right Six now. There, they might be able to pick out Warchi. It seems like he's been left alone on an island. But Alka, man, you gotta, oh, no. you gotta back up. Buddy. Not again! Not again! Alka's getting picked up. They did burn three ultimates this time. Sorry, two ultimates this time. Warchi just having used his on the left hand side. So a little bit of a better trade, but still really bad. Warchi though, under some duress, he's gonna get chased up there by Rapio, who does manage to find an answer. 
This is the positioning, though. Talking about Ulka again, that I was talking about from that first game. We're, we're about 6,000 gold down now. 3,000 of it can be directly tied back into you, just losing out on your life continually. But I like what we're seeing. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Rapio rotates over, shuts down Warchi with the help of Davey. And Oof. now Davey gets left high and dry. Rapio doesn't take risky situations. He's going to run away with his life and potentially lose it as well. Oh, running away with it is uh, the operative word. Sorry, you did uh, correct yourself there Davey right at the blink. end. It's like, a, it's like a ballet of ones and zeros, Mifflin. Everyone's rolling ones, critical fail, and now it's going to be Alka who's paying for it with his life. Man, deja vu. Alka dying again. Couldn't believe it if you didn't say it. <laughs> but imagine had he gone Heartseeker there, Rapio. He would have just straight up killed Warchi, and instead Alka gets dragged out of position by a, uh, an attempted pick onto the Cupid, which is going to KO. The longer this fight goes on, it's going to favor the Poppies. They've got inherent healing within Cupid's kit, and now Draco Marino oh. finding the ultimate. I mean, Captain Oti, I felt like he was being flung halfway across the map there. He went into the stratosphere, came straight back down, landed with about as much oh, force. Fire giant. But now there's no ultimate available for Chekio, so they're going to have to play a little bit more cautiously around the confirm. They don't want to drop it low just yet. Rama trading out his ultimate. There's the seal potential gone. For sure, that's definitely going to be what the puppies were waiting for. But now, the rest of the fight's coming through. And I don't know, puppies don't have a lot of HP to their name, but it's not going to matter when Marcus is going to be able to out-damage Rapio anyway. Now it's going to be the big kitty kitty meow meow looking for some more damage here. Picarina, I believe his dash is already down. Never mind, I was uh, speaking out of nowhere there. He's going to dash away, but look at this over on the left-hand side. The Oni minions are going to pick up the Phoenix. I don't think Oni's going to be there in time. Like the waves. They go in and they come out. They go in, Alka? get a kill, and come out. And Aka, once again, is in a bad position. Another ult dropped on him, though. Puppies are using a lot to try and pick up this kill this time around. And now it could look to be a turnaround for the Picarinu's team, but Warchi not really too happy about letting that happen. He's going to pick up Captain Oti in his own time. Rapio now, the next person to fall nice and quickly. Marcus going to make quick work of that, picking up a double kill. Divine is this jungler here from the blue side of the map. Davey, now all by his lonesome, is going to get picked up as well. And I'm not really sure Poppies have any issue maybe running just through this right side Phoenix and winning the game. Uh, uh yeah. Yes, yes, uh, sure thing, Blazy. Alka's getting picked out again. Uh, I'll let you take it. <laughs> yeah, well, what is there to talk about, Alka? Let, let's let's see if you've heard this song before. Alka caught out, Warchi kills him. I forced someone oh, from Pikari Noobs to rotate over, oh. and now it's Marcus getting caught out. Rapio couldn't quite connect with the ultimate. And he's gonna fall down because of it. Warchi gets credit for the kill. Seems like a little bit of a miscommunication there. Davey goes up to the sky. Marcus is gonna find a second kill, though. Alka. Once again, falls down. That's going to be number six for the crocodile. And now, I I don't know about you, Mifflin, but this is looking pretty cut and dry to me. Puppies, five man strong against three defenders. I think this is just going to be a walk it down into the Phoenix situation. Oti trying desperately to defend, but the beats is going to be good for Marcus to prevent the displacement there from Captain Oti's ult. But Titan already falling down low. It didn't even get a chance to breathe. Didn't even get a chance to hit anyone with his big club and stick. That's going to be all.